This is the RV park of Circus Circus. It's not my camera. This is extremely dark. There's not a lot of lighting, which uh, I don't like that. If I was, you know, park my RV in here, I'd like a little more lighting. You got a little bit of dim light right there. Not a lot. So you got this playground over here. It looks all right. There's nothing special about it. And the swimming pool is certainly nothing fancy. Just a square swimming pool. That's okay. I mean, but for an RV, uh, for an RV park, it's not bad. Especially you're, you know, just a few steps to get right inside Circus Circus. Don't really have much of a view. You basically have the view of the Circus Circus, and you have uh, this Turnberry Towers over there some timeshare units you got the strat you actually can see circa from the parking lot but you can see circa from the moon that is a very uh, visible hotel all over vegas So they do have uh, the, that room over there, I mean that building over there is uh, shower facilities, bathrooms, so you don't always have to use what's in your camper. Some of these are campers, some of these are RVs, some of these are buses. There's some very expensive buses over there. And the price is pretty good. I'll post the price on the video, but this is the like the, like a check-in place. Looks like some emergency uh, emergency food. You certainly wouldn't want to depend on it, but it's there late at night. Of course, the door's not open right now, so that doesn't help. And it's not late; it's not even eight o'clock, so these doors should be open. In case you needed, you know, some grandma cookies or something. You'd want the doors to be open. But it is an absolute ghost town in here. I mean, there is not... not it is deathly quiet. I mean, the Las Vegas Strip is just steps away. And seriously, you could sleep like a baby in here. Most of the babies don't even sleep good. I don't know what that saying is. But it's something we, we say, so I'll say it. So the, uh, the other things you got is this, what they call a water park over here. It's actually a... Uh, I would say it's a water slide and a splash pad. It's, it's not, you know, that much, but in the summertime, I bet it's pretty nice. That's a lot of stairs to walk up, I have to admit. It's like walking up to do the zip line. So most of the RV people are probably not using this. They're not going to climb that many stairs. Nothing against RV people, but I don't. I, most of them are older. The last time I checked the price on a, a slip, well, I don't call it a slip, slip a uh, lot, a spot, it was like $75. And if that's what it is, that's not bad. Now, this is the manor, Circus Circus Manor. 
these rooms, I don't think, in my opinion, to my knowledge, have been open mm, in 20 years. I might be off by a few years. But I have been booking circus circus rooms, at least one per trip or two or three nights per trip over the last 20 years because the price is so good. They always book me in the manor and they never give me a manor room. What they do with these, these, these rooms is they tell you that you gotta walk a long way, you gotta take the tram, would you like to upgrade to the sky tire, tower? I always say, no thanks. Oh. Look, we just got a uh, sky tower came open. When I'm able to put you in the sky tower for the manor price. Okay, I'll take it. And that's like five times in a row that happened. So I knew the trick. I knew they were going to try to upcharge me and then succumb to the fact that these manor rooms have not been open in years and years and years and it's weird because they look good from the outside maybe they're going to reopen them I don't know what they're doing with them I did go and look in some windows and in some of those rooms I saw a whole bunch of mattresses stored like from other rooms like they were using them for storage So this is weird. Look, look at the situation here. So this is the slide. This is a um, chalet, not a chalet, not a canopy. Cabana. Come on, get it right. And look at that remote control. I easily can take that remote control if I want right now. I don't want because what would I control it with but that's just to show you how many pieces and parts there is to run in a casino because the next time if someone has taken that and they can't do anything with it the next person can't control their television and see this one doesn't match uh, match the other one so I guess they just have a whole bunch of them they bring you know hand them another one they're probably only about nine dollars but this will all be open shortly when well, they do have a food truck for the RV people so the RV situation that's the only RV situation in uh, Vegas however you can go to some parking lots like the one at uh, Horseshoe Valley's and park an RV if you uh, if you're boondocking and if you're an RV person you know what boondocking means that means you don't get any power or any sewage so it's like a one night thing you could do that that will cost you I think about $12 to park in there but if you're in a, well no if you're a Nevada resident you're only going to get three hours of that for free so it's going to cost you the same if you're in Nevada or if you're Montana I don't know why I said Montana I don't know anything about Montana except the fact that I was on the Yellowstone television show. But, you know, that's not something I want to talk about right now. Maybe later. So, yeah, you would take from the RV, if you take the, you can go across, take the inside. You would go over near the pool and go upstairs and go over into the casino. Or you can just go to the street level like I'm going to do right now and go into Circus Circus. This is a crosswalk. 
person knew it, one person didn't. That's a, uh, oh, that next street is uh, Sammy Davis Jr. It's kind of an industrial street they gave him. But to my knowledge, I don't think there's a Jerry Lewis street in Las Vegas, which is a really, really, really weird situation because he was uh, famous in, in uh, Las Vegas. Okay, I'm going to do a walkthrough in the Circus Circus on a dead night and see what it looks like. But that's the end of the uh, Circus Circus RV lot.